Trash. What's up gang, today we are looking at a preview for a sequel to a movie that I hold very near and dear to my heart, so it is very likely that I'm not going to be very fair to this movie and give it the chance it deserves. That being said, I don't think anybody else is either, at least not people who like the original film. Finding Nemo is one of those films that on paper probably looked like it was going to be a disaster, but it worked, and the animators brought out a movie that is just one of the greatest animated films that has ever been produced, in my opinion. So, I mean, clearly, a sequel was bound to happen at some point, right? But, I mean, what are they gonna do? Finding Nemo 2? Did that little shit really get lost again? Fast forward 10 years and the answer is no. So then, what sort of plot could they put into this fictional universe where clownfish do not change their gender to propagate the species? Finding Dory. <sighs> Just roll the damn trailer. So the trailer opens up with that classic heartfelt music from the movie. Don't cry, Mommy. Don't cry. We see Dory sleeping in a hole and Nemo and Marlin sleeping in there and then... <gasps> Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. Welcome aboard, explorers! Dory? Dory? It's the middle of the night. Dad, Dory sleeps swimming. Dory has slept swim, slept, sleep swam, slip, slept swimming, sleep. What are the past tenses of sleep swimming? from her little hut out into the open water. So here's the first problem. I get that it's a kid's movie and things shouldn't be, you know, like, 100%. But having a fish sleep swim? Really? Sleep swim? I mean, it's just ridiculous. <sighs> Some fish can sleep, sort of. Not really, but sort of. But. Ah, sleep swimming, I mean, it just feels so lazy, like you couldn't think of a good thing, you couldn't think of a reason to put Dory in danger other than some stupid thing that doesn't actually exist, and I just... <sighs> but whatever, fine, they put her back into their little cave and they try to go back to sleep. She's talking in her sleep. Hmm. Dory says a lot of things in her sleep, okay? Hand me the ratchet wrench. I can fix it. But Dad, what if she starts sleep swimming again? I'm sure this was a one-time thing. So can we just all go back to... B Dory? Dory! Dory! She gone. <gasps> I remembered something. That's not possible. Is it? Okay, is it like a picture in your head? And then you think I've seen this before? I just used the word before, which means I I'm remembering something. What was I talking about? But wait, that was all a ruse. That's not how Dory gets lost at all, no! No, she ends up remembering something from her past and swimming away on her own. And this is my best guess at how she actually ends up getting put in danger. She remembers that she has a family, she goes off to find them, and she gets lost or she forgets what she's doing, and there you go, finding Dory. My family! They're out there somewhere! I have to find them! Something important? What? Something about a clam or... No. No, an oyster? No. Mollusk? No. Something? No. I don't know. No clam. No I mean, they, they've tried to make several jokes at this point. I'm just not laughing. So takeaways. I don't know if this is the trailer's fault or the movie's, but it comes off as a very lackluster attempt at a second film. Especially when you weigh it next to the first one. My guess is that they think that the first film holds enough clout that they don't even have to really try on the second film, which is really disappointing. This preview honestly comes off to me one of three ways. Either deleted scenes from the first film, a preview for a new animated series on Disney, 
or advertising a special feature short film on the DVD of the original movie. Trailer trash. So all in all, based solely off this preview, I'd skip it. Rather than do something special like they did in the first film, it seems like the filmmakers were uninspired and they decided to choose a property to do a sequel on that they knew had clout and that would rake in the millions without putting in any effort. That being said, I really hope I'm wrong and that this movie is awesome because I think the property is that cool and it deserves a really good sequel. But what I think does not matter. What do you guys think? Are you likely to see this in the movie theater? Are you going to wait for DVD? Are you going to wait for Netflix? TV? Never? I mean, I honestly can see myself saying never to this. Based on this trailer and this trailer alone, it's just really sad that they had to take the property this direction and, you know, just not really try all that hard. Let me know in the comments section below, guys, and as always, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud. Roll over to MovieHolics.net, leave us some questions there. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. For the love of God, we're on our quest to 1,000, so subscribe to the channel and share us with the world. Um, other than that, guys, I love you much. I'll talk to you later. Deuces. Trailer Trash